after Deadpool and Wolverine coming out this last weekend, you would have thought, hey, Andrew, are you going to do Deadpool commentary? No, absolutely not. Stupid you for thinking such things. I'm going to be watching X-Men. <laughs> It's Anjan. Today, we're gonna be watching X-Men, the 2000 movie from literally the year that I was born, 24 years ago. One of the first installments of this, this kind of universe, I guess, in this little side MC. I don't know if it's confirmed MCU. I know they've like, they've like, they've like said, maybe it's a part of a different universe. Maybe it's, it is canon, but it's not like, and it's, and it's, but it's, you know, I don't really know 100%. With that being said, I don't really do MCU movies on this channel. I've only done a handful of MCU things. If you want to check out my Iron Man commentary and the Loki series, go ahead and check that out. But I'm kind of stray away from doing MCU just because it's a lot of commitment. I mean, look at how many movies there are, but I'm not totally against it. Here we are doing Marvel X-Men series. This is a little bit different because it's not part of our, you know, Iron Man, Captain America, Thor. It's not really in line with those um, yet. Who knows? I don't know. But I have really not seen any Wolverine stuff. And I just recently watched Flushed Away and they made a little Wolverine reference and I completely passed over my head. Let's go ahead and dive right into this and culture myself. If you guys enjoy this video and if you guys want more X-Men content, go ahead and leave a like on this video and a comment down below letting me know that that's what you want so that this video can outreach to more people and that we can go ahead and make a series out of this. All right, I'm excited to react to this. Never seen this before. I have zero expectation. Let's go do this. But before we begin, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. If you haven't yet already, so you stay tuned to all my content. Follow me on Twitch. I live stream every Monday and Thursday. If you guys want to check out the full length uncut commentary to this movie, make sure to check out my Patreon page. You can gain full access to that and future movie slash TV shows that I do on this channel. And big special thanks to my VIPs for supporting me in this way. You guys keep the dream possible. Alrighty, y'all, let's jump straight into the commentary. Muddy. Oh gosh, honey. Your shoes are, oh, everyone. Poland, 1944. Oh, this is fully war. Ooh, it's so gray and gloomy. So dark. It's like almost black and white. Aw, well, this is depressing. That's so sad. Oh yeah, he's got superpowers. Give me back my mother. I love how like three or four adult guards couldn't hold him back. Like you can see there was a surge of like n supernatural energy through him, not just through moving the gate, but you know, he has a lot of strength. He was, couldn't be uh, pulled back by all those guards. I love that. Canadian Rockies and then it's only a few hundred miles to Anchorage. Just a few hundred. After high school, before college. It's the best time to do it. Some people take a break, a little gap year to figure out what they want to do and to experience life a little bit and figure out who they are. I love the drastic difference of the coloring scales. Both very dramatic, but one is very dark and gloomy and up to the gray scale. Here, it's very like warm tone, red, inviting. It's a drastic contrast from the last scene. It's very intimate and oh, whoa, oh, oh, oh my God. Oh my gosh. What's happening? What's happening? Oh my God, he's hyperventilating. Are you call an ambulance? Oh my gosh, what? Why don't you help him? He's your boyfriend. Wait. These mutations manifest at puberty. Did she cause him to like die or have a seizure? I don't know what he was going on with him over there. So her power is just killing people through kisses? A girl in Illinois who can walk through walls. Now what's to stop her from walking into a bank vault or into the White House? Um, morals? Laws? I think the American people deserve the right to decide whether they want their children to be in school with you, to be taught by mutants. You sound like an asshole. You're just jealous that you don't have a superpower. Hello, Mr. Stewart. Big respect for Patrick Stewart. I think he's a fantastic, fantastic actor. Just crazy why I haven't seen these films. Don't give up on the merit. What would you have me do, Charles? So. I have a question. Are the X-Men movies with Nicholas Holt and Jennifer Lawrence, are those prequels? Because doesn't McAvoy- Don't get in my way. Play young Professor X? 
Wait, oh my god, is that who I think it is? Is that Gandalf again? Dude, the Flush Away series just really connecting. There are moments in this channel where stars just align. Things are just happening that I don't mean for them or plan for them to connect, but they just do. And it just so happens that all these actors just like overlap. I had no idea that Gandalf was in this movie. I don't, I can't even tell from his face. That's the sad part. I can tell by his voice that it's Gandalf. Ian McKellen, yes, Magneto. Perfect, perfect. I had to make sure. I couldn't actually. Ooh, here we go, Hugh Jackman. I don't even want to say in his prime because he's still in his prime, let's be honest. No man takes a beating like that without a mark to show for it. I know what you are. You lost your money, you keep this up, you lose something else. Look out! <laughs> oh, and there's the blades reveal. Get out of my bar, freak. Really, me? I wasn't the one being aggressive. <laughs> nice. Those are some sharp blades too, if we can go through a gun. That's so cool. I wonder if that guy had to hold the gun together and it's like already like pre-cut. So when he swung, he had to like kind of time it where he would like rip the gun apart and then have the two pieces in his hand. It's kind of awesome. I like that. Oh man. Do your like blades get sore? <laughs> Do your like knuckles hurt sometimes after a long days of work? Did the girl hop into the- What? I needed a ride. Thought you might help me. Get out. You could have asked. I saved your life. No, you didn't. I warned you. Wow, relentless. He said bye. He's gonna stop. Yeah, you have a good conscience. I'm Rogue. Your name's Rogue? Or did you just choose that name? Put your hands on the heater. I'm not gonna hurt you, kid. When people touch my skin, something happens. What? They just get hurt. Fair enough. He's like, nothing surprises him. He totally believes it. When they come out, does it hurt? Every time. Aww. See, I was right. They probably get sore. You know, you should wear your seatbelt. Hey, look, kid, I don't need advice on auto. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he went through the window. Sir, was your seatbelt not on or? You know, you should wear your seatbelt. That just happened. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, on fire, on fire. Car on fire, get out of the vehicle. <gasps> oh, oh my God, look at his head. But he can fast heal. Oh, something. But dude, can you also smell the fire that's being lit up in your freaking vehicle? Whoa! Jeez. That'll do it. Who are you? Weren't you supposed to bring someone back with you? Rawr! <laughs> Gandalf! What a dapper gentleman. He stole the Wolverine necklace and put it on himself. Where's the mutant now? Oh, he was one of the marked from, from way back when. Oh my gosh. This guy really likes the necklace. You can get your own dog tag, I'm sure, from like anywhere. Oh, this lady! She was the one that was talking to the Senate. Uh, and she is a mutant, which makes sense. I can't watch needles being poked into skin. <laughs> Who are you and what are you doing to me? Where's he going? Oh my God, you're hearing voices. You're done, Zoe. You're going crazy. You're out, out, out of it. Where are you going? This way. He's over there. <laughs> Poor guy's freaked out. Place can't be that bad if they're just running children around. Good morning, Logan. Morning. Bye, Professor. Bye, Kitty. Oh my gosh, she's the one that goes through walls. Where's the girl? Rogue? She's here, she's fine. Really? Ah, I'd like you to meet Aurora Monroe. Aurora Monroe. Aurora. Called Summers, yeah. also called Cyclops. Oh, this is... That guy, so he plays Cyclops. He's in that show, Westworld. Is that what it's called? I think so. Cyclops, right? You 
to get out of my way. So aggressive. Oh my gosh. So much pent up anger in you. Moving from place to place with no memory of who or what you are. How do you know? You're not the only one with gifts. I can read your mind. Taught them to control their powers and in time, teach others to do the same. That's awesome. What does Storm do? What's your name? Rogue. What'll happen to her? Well, that's up to her. Actually, it's Marie. To become what the children have affectionately called X-Men. Welcome to Mutant High. You're such a flirt. Oh my gosh, you just got out of a relationship. Oh my when gosh. When I was a boy, I discovered I had the power to control people's minds. And that's how you stole these planes? Make them think or do whatever I wanted. You can make them think or do whatever they want. Thank goodness you're the on the good side. If you were evil, oh my gosh, he'd just take over the whole world. <laughs> this guy, this gross guy, thinks he's so cool because he's like, I'm here for no mutants. I'm more bold. Meh, 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 meh. You know the situation? These mutants, people like this Jean Grey. If it were up to me, I'd lock them all away. Where the hell are we? <gasps> Get God, dude. That's crazy! I forgot this chick's name. You know, people like you are the reason I was afraid to go to school as a child. <laughs> it's pretty true. You're breeding the bad mutants, honestly. You're the one causing so much anger in people. Oh, what's her name? Mystique! Couldn't wait to get my shirt off again, huh? <laughs> are you flirting? Metal is an alloy called adamantium, and surgically grafted to his entire skeleton. Surgically grafted? He has uncharted regenerative capability, which enables him to heal rapidly. This also makes his age impossible to determine. Oh, that's so sad. So someone surgically put metals in him to see if he can survive? Kind of experiment? Oh my God, that's like wild actually. So he's constantly healing and regenerating himself with these like blades inside of him. That makes a lot of sense. Cause I'm assuming he was the kid from the beginning. I'm, I'm assuming, I could be totally wrong. But I'm assuming he's the kid that got separated from his parents in the beginning. And then he's gonna be part of the Deadpool movie, which is like, uh, takes place around now, I'm assuming. So wild. I think what you really are afraid of is me. Me and my kind. Oh, it's not so surprising, really. Mankind has always- I hate that, I hate that so much, but it's also badass. Don't fear God, Senator. And certainly don't fear me. Not anymore. This is, I can't wait. This is me watching Ian McKellen as another antagonist in a movie. And I'm like bamboozled that this man is Gandalf, who is like the most wholesome, badass character, good guy out there. And now look at this. He's a full on bad guy. And Toad? Are you kidding me? And Fleshed Away? Nailed both roles. I also have some telepathic ability. I like your professor. No one near that powerful. But he's teaching me to develop it. Oh, so you... <laughs> she knows that he has a crush on her. So read my mind. I'd rather not. You afraid you might like it? I doubt it. He's flirting hardcore! Look at this man. You telling me this man's you're gonna resist his face? <gasps> She's seeing the traumatic... The traumatic events. Good night, Logan. Oh, it's gonna be a little love triangle moment too? Oh my god, am I watching Twilight? At least she's getting valuable information out of him. He was definitely being like, flirtatious vibes, read my flirtatious, pick up lines, you're the only 10 I see. <laughs> she's like, just staring into his past, trying to snoop. <laughs> Rogue, careful. Oh. Did you just kill her? <gasps> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh. oh, can she use his power to heal herself? That's so cool. You know what? This is a blessing in disguise then. Logan, what happened? Um, you tried to murder Rogue and then she healed herself by uh, absorbing your powers, maybe? In the case of mutants, she absorbs their gifts for a short while. <gasps> That's so cool. I feel like she almost killed me. If she'd held out any longer, she could have. She could have, still with mutants, that's mm. wild. <sighs> ew, ew, what is this guy doing? Ew, wait, he looks like Pepe. People Monka S. Come on, come on, you're not telling me? So did they make him a mutant? 
That's crazy. How are we feeling, Senator? Oh, <gasps> he has a cape. That is epic. It's giving Darth Vader vibes. Who would take you in now that you're one of us? That's crazy. So Magneto can force mutations. Ah! Oh my God, he's literally Luffy. Ah! Oops. Uh, Magneto, he's a little slippery. Ah! Oh, he's so mad. Don't drop him next time. <laughs> Bro, what did you do? What did I do? He's the one that stabbed me. You never use your power against another mutant. I, uh, excuse me, dude. Did you forget that I was kebobbed? Bobby's kind of toxic. I think it'll be easier <gasps> on your own. Who's this Bob? Yo, L, negative 100 points for Bobby. You were all like, here's a rose for you. <gasps> oh my God, it's because you're mystique. They want her cause she's so freaking powerful. Oh, I totally got played. Bobby, so sorry, you're probably really sweet. <laughs> Brainwaves and mutants are different from average human beings. This device amplifies my power, allowing me to locate mutants across great distances. Why don't you just use it to find Magneto? He seems to have found some way to shield himself from it. So he helped me build it. So you, they were once partners was the thing, right? And then he became like all evil and all that. It do be like Star Wars. <laughs> Nice. It's like 11 from Stranger Things. Except he did it first. I'm okay, so mad here. if I say it like <laughs> it was like 11. No, Professor X had it first. Okay, I get it. It's fictional characters too. Like everyone calm down. I'm the reason she took off. We had a deal. She's just she upset. Storm, Cyclops, Wait. find her. Storm looks like a young Halle Berry, but I really can't tell because it is Halle Berry. <laughs> Yeah, as if Wolverine was gonna listen. Pfft. Oh, that's awesome. He's loving it. I mean, with the ability to heal and all that, I'd be reckless all the time. And I love the adrenaline rush. I'm sorry about last night. Me too. You running again? I heard the professor was mad at me. Who told you that? When's the last time you saw her? She was supposed to meet me for lunch. Welcome, Professor. That's so cool that she can change to like, whoever. Oh, 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 what's that? There's not many people that'll understand what you're going through, but I think this guy, Xavier, is one of them. He seems to genuinely want to help you, and that's a rare thing for people like us. Hugh Jackman nailing the American accent and nailing the British accent from Flushed Away. Australians be talented. Brown hair. <laughs> Hello? Oh! Scream for me. Oh my gosh. Who who is climbing in the corner of the room? Oh my God, that just gave me hereditary flashbacks. <laughs> wow, zero to 100 real quick. <gasps> Yeah, get God Saber Tooth. So cool. Oh! What the? What the? Oh, oh. All the metal is being bent? It's Magneto. And he's going after you and Rogue. He wants y'all on his side. Come on. That's so epic. Look at that. That's so cool. Remarkable metal doesn't run through your entire body, does it? Oh, it does, so he can cause a lot of pain. Oh, gosh. <gasps> owie, 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 owie. I understand wanting Rogue. Hold it right there. Stay where you are. Put your hands over your heads. Being able to control metal is honestly one of the best. Powers. So easy for him. Like artillery, are you kidding me? Vehicles, any tech is gonna have so much metal in it. You homo sapiens and your guns. Whoa! That's enough, Eric. Let them go. Why not come out when I can see you, Charles? Charles is controlling them. Oh, yeah. Let them pass that law and they'll have you in chains with a number burned into your forehead. Won't be that. And kill me and find out. But you're my friend and I don't want to kill you. Fine. <gasps> oh, he's gonna kill someone. You are evil, sir. 
Press your luck, Charles. Ooh! Wow, you could stop a bullet? Still unwilling to make sacrifices. That's what makes you weak. No, that's what makes you evil! The whole by all, by whatever means necessary. Ugh. You are a scary being, sir. This came out in 2000, so this was actually before he was Gandalf, right? You're after! So he was Magneto first! You know Magneto's right. There's a war coming. You sure you're on the right side? At least I've chosen a side. This is partially true. <gasps> the senator! I'm looking for Dr. Jean Grey. Ah, oh, look who came crawling, Mr. Senator! Well, someone's gotta be on their side, and it'd help if it was a politician. Senator, I want you to try and relax. Ah, so he sees the weapon that he made. The mutation is unnatural. Kelly's body is rejecting it. The cells began to break down almost immediately. Oh. So he's making mutants, but it's not really being accepted because it's like a forced mutation, I guess. He's going to transfer his power to Rogue and use her to power the machine. So that it doesn't kill him. Oh, that's crazy. Yo, you just left this guy here? He's literally drenched. Are you leaking water? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh, that's freaky. Oh, that's weird. Oh my god, I hate that. Oh, he just obliterated. What was that? Are you kidding me? Why don't you take your little mission and stick it up here? Senator Kelly is dead. I don't know if dead's the right word. Like, he just doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Yeah, so whatever she put in that machine really getting to him didn't look good. <gasps> She's gonna try it. Good for you, Jean. 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 I know where Magneto's going. Nice. How did you do that? See? It's not that bad. Just, just a little pinch. Oh. <gasps> Okay. Oh, and that was Mystique. This chick, this girl. Ow. Oh my God, that guy's great. So weird. I'm not trying to be like, uh, I like the bad guys, but they're kind of cool. Magneto, badass. Evil, sure, but hella cool. I love how contrasty the vibe of this movie is. It loves this really dark black negative spaces and like these very dramatic framed shots. I like it. I like it a lot. You actually go outside in these things? What would you prefer? Yellow spandex? How did he know? Absolutely, I prefer yellow spandex. Storm, some cover, please. She making like fog? That's epic. That's so cool. Sounds like a storm's coming. Yeah. They just couldn't resist with that line, right? <laughs> I wouldn't be able to resist if I was the, the writers of this film. Are you kidding me? Sorry? You call that a landing? They hate each other. <laughs> This poor girl. We all know Magneto's willing to make sacrifices. Security. Huh. <laughs> Should have jumped over it, walked around it. <gasps> girl, what? You can even be inanimate objects? Mystique just became 10 times cooler. <laughs> oh. Do not. Ah! Right, back up, back up. The ah! You Jackman nailed that. Oh, oh. Oh. This guy is so weird, but I love it. Is he supposed to be like a frog? But so far, he's been the most efficient out of all of them. What? What? <laughs> he's so weird. Oh, gross. Makes for some creative fighting, you know, between all the mutants. They can kind of experiment with like, okay, if these two fought, what would they do? How would they try to combat each other? <laughs> She's so freaky. Her eyes. The 
the one ain't far away. Come on. We have to regroup. I know, but there's a problem. <laughs> I'm not Wolverine! Oh! Just kidding, I got duped. Oh, he smelled her and recognized the scent. Come on, stupid. After he sniffed you out, he wasn't gonna recognize what you smelled like? Everybody get out of here. What is it? I can't move. Which means Magneto is watching us. That's the crazy part. It's just convenient that he can like move Wolverine, but as long as there's access to metal, he can, oh, he can move anyone. I've seen Senator Kelly. So the good Senator survived his fault to become even more powerful than I could have imagined. He's dead. I saw him die. Like those people down there will die. Are you sure you saw what you saw? It's pretty hard to forget when you watch someone become a pool of water. Remember that episode of Rick and Morty where Jerry becomes a puddle of water? Sorry, not the time. Not the time, I know. If you were really so righteous, it'd be you and that thing. Somebody help me! Yeah, you'd be sacrificing your own life. You're like, you have to be willing to make sacrifices. So sacrifice your own life, stupid. Ah! Ooh. <laughs> yeah, stupid idiot. Give me back my necklace. I can't believe this is just taking place on top of the Statue of Liberty. It's so cool. Ooh, by your freaking hair. Get it? Because they're on top of, they're on Liberty Statue of Liberty's hair. This really takes a genius to come up with these kind of jokes. One of a kind, one of a kind. If you aren't subscribed till now, that's what will do it. I know that's what, that was the line that was gonna do it. Drop something. Is she gonna move? No. Them? That's so cool. Oh yeah. Oh, stupid Magneto. Oh my gosh, is her hair changing color? Oh my gosh. This is wild, look at that. I have a shot. Oh, at him, nice. Yeah! Yeah, that's smart. Her hair is all white now. Look at that! Little extensions. How convenient is it that all of the world's leaders were just gathered in one party off of Ellis Island? <gasps> Giving her the ability to heal! Oh, that's kind of sweet. Aww, even though it hurts him, like, oh, that's really hurting him. That looks real bad, let me tell ya. That was sweet of him. He was looking out for her. He promised. Cute moment, Wolverine, you just upped on my list. Oh, hey, Charles. Oh, oh it tickles. Oh, she's falling for you. Girl, you gotta break up with Cyclops. I can see it in your eyes that you like Logan. I think she's a little taken with you. Well, you can tell her my heart belongs to someone else. Oh, bold. She still has a boyfriend, sir. With Alkali Lake and the Canadian Rockets close to where we found you. You might find some answers. Thank you. Are you going to say goodbye to them? So they really didn't do the yellow suit for him. I like how he has the yellow, at least, accents. I was wrong in this particular issue, and I hope in time I may be forgiven. Thank you. For <gasps> Mystique. Oh, it was Mystique. I was about to say. You running again? Just getting some air. Some things to take care of up north. It's good to see that you're alive and well, though. I don't want you to go. I'll be back for this. Aw, yeah, see? I'm not gonna be gone forever. Just for a little while. <laughs> Still the bike. <laughs> we also, we love a man who can layer the leather, the jean, and the flannel look. Love it. I love it. Doesn't it ever wake you in the middle of the night? The feeling that someday they will pass that foolish law and come for you and your children. Oh, you guys are playing chess? Is he in jail and like, he just came to visit. <laughs> Even his chair is clear and not made out of metal. That's so funny. The war is still coming, Charles, and I intend to fight it by any means oh, necessary. Oh, we know. And I will always be there, old friend. 
Nice. So cool. I love how they decided in that scene to play chess. Wow, that was X-Men. Not what I was expecting. Definitely like spookier and like weirder and kind of quirky. Definitely not what I expected in this film at all. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more superhero-y. Like, you know, kind of like the scripts for usual Marvel movies. I thought it was gonna kind of go by that equation. But no, this was definitely a little bit different than what I thought. I feel like this is, yeah, just the beginning and we're just getting a little taste, but they didn't really dive in deep to the characters yet. You know, we only got like little glimpses of people's pasts, which is honestly pretty strategic because now that we vaguely know the characters and what they're capable of, we can go into the next movies a little bit more excited and, a, and with a desire for more, um, which is exactly what they're probably intended to do and what I feel right now. Like, I wanna know more about Logan's past. I wanna know more about what's gonna happen with Rogue and how they all came to be in you know this mansion and uh, just all of it um i think i'm right i think the x-men series that i watched i think that's the prequel right but i have to like really refresh my memory but this, this is why i'm here this is why i do what i do for a living is to continue to culture myself and dive into the cinematic storytellings of many universes so thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed that commentary make sure you leave it a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't yet already so you stay tuned to all my content and don't forget to check out my last video if you guys want to check out the full length uncut commentary to this movie make sure you check out my patreon page you can gain full access to that and future movie slash tv shows that i do on this channel and don't forget to leave a comment down below if you guys want to see more x-men movies leave this video a big thumbs up for that and leave a comment down below for the algorithm gods so that i can give you more of these all right y'all have the bestest day ever and i'll see you guys in the next one bye okay bye okay bye okay bye